Caracalla, born on April 4, 188 AD in Lugdunum, modern-day Lyon, was an emperor of the Roman Empire who ruled from 211 AD until his death on April 8, 217 AD. He was officially known as Marcus Aurelius Severus Antoninus, named after the popular emperor Marcus Aurelius. Caracalla earned his nickname from the type of cloak he wore. In 197 AD, Caracalla's father, Septimius Severus, the founder of the Severian dynasty, made him a co-ruler at the age of 10. After his father's death on February 4, 211 AD, Caracalla and his younger brother Geta became joint emperors. However, in December of the same year, Caracalla had his brother Geta killed and massacred Geta's supporters in Rome, becoming the sole ruler. Caracalla's focus was mainly on military matters, and he favoured the soldiers by doubling their pay, following the path his father had taken and anticipating the era of the soldier emperors. His ferocity towards any opposition or perceived opposition made him unpopular with his contemporaries, particularly the Roman Senate. However, he was beloved by the soldiers, and his popularity continued after his death. As a child, Caracalla lived in the province of Pannonia Superior from 191 AD. Emperor Commodus ordered the children of the provincial governors to remain in Rome, intending to keep them under his control and prevent their fathers, the governors, from rebelling. Caracalla was known for his pleasant features as a child, and he was only five years old when his father was proclaimed emperor by the legions on the Danube on April 9, 193 AD. In the years 193 to 196 AD, Caracalla spent time in his father's court in the east of the Roman Empire before journeying back to Rome through Pannonia. In an attempt to legitimize his rule, Septimius Severus falsely claimed to be the adopted son of the deceased Emperor Marcus Aurelius in the spring of 195 AD. This allowed Caracalla to be named Marcus Aurelius Antoninus and be seen as a part of the Antonine family, thus continuing the tradition of adoptive emperors. Despite this being a fiction, Caracalla retained this identity for the rest of his life. In contrast, Caracalla's older brother Geta was not given a new name or included in the Antonine dynasty. Caracalla was given the title of Caesar in mid-195 AD, marking his designation as a future emperor and leading to a rift between his father and rival Clodius Albinus, who controlled Britannia. This arrangement was ultimately rendered obsolete by Caracalla's elevation to Caesar, which led to a civil war between Severus and Albinus that was avoided in 193 AD. Following Severus's victory in this conflict and Albinus's death, Caracalla was able to claim his rightful place as his father's successor. Caracalla was known for his gentle demeanor, even turning away from the violence of gladiator fights. As the son of the emperor, he received a thorough education and was able to participate in intellectual discussions as emperor. He had a great respect for rhetorical skills. In 197 AD, Caracalla and his brother Geta accompanied their father on his second campaign against the Parthians. By the spring of that year, Caracalla was officially named the designated emperor and participant in government power. Later that fall or in 198 AD, he was given the title of Augustus and Imperial Proxies, taking on the name Marcus Aurelius Severus Antoninus Augustus. His brother Geta was also elevated to Caesar around the same time. The imperial family spent some time in the east and then travelled to Egypt in 199 AD, where they stayed until 200 AD. They returned to Rome in 202 AD, and Caracalla served as consul ordinarius alongside his father. In the same year, Caracalla married Plautilla, daughter of the Praetorian guard's powerful prefect Plautianus, and was named consul with his father. He served as consul again in 205 AD, this time alongside his brother Geta. The three of them participated in the Roman invasion of Caledonia from 208 to 210 AD. After his father's death in Britannia in 211 AD, Caracalla and Geta became co-emperors. Despite their fathers urging to rule together and avoid quarrels, their relationship only worsened after his death. After returning to Rome, the brothers engaged in quarrels over the division of the Roman Empire. To prevent a division, their mother Julia Domna intervened. On December 19, 
211 AD, Antoninus convinced his mother and brother to have a discussion to settle their differences. However, Antoninus had other plans and stormed in with a group of soldiers and killed Geta. In the aftermath, Antoninus rushed to the Praetorian camp to gain the guards' support by offering special donativa and a hefty pay rise. This was done to honor what he called his escape from the Geta plot. As a result, a massacre was carried out among Geta's supporters and friends. In 212 AD, Antoninus apparently granted full Roman citizenship to all free men in the Roman Empire. This decree is often referred to as the Edict of Caracalla, and is only mentioned in one sentence by historian Cassius Dio. This was the reason why he made all the people of his empire Roman citizens, in appearance he honored them, but his real aim was to increase his income, for non citizens were exempt from most taxes. In 213 AD, Antoninus launched a series of campaigns in Germania and emerged victorious over the Alemanni. During these wars, he often wore a Celtic soldier's cape called Caracallus, which earned him his nickname, Caracalla. In 214 AD, he departed for the eastern part of the empire while displaying increasing signs of mental instability. He developed a delusional identification with Alexander the Great and staged elaborate military spectacles with an army of 16,000 soldiers dressed in attire from centuries prior, as well as soldiers from Sparta and elephants. He re-enacted the wars of Troy, cast himself as Achilles, and his friend Festus as another character. He orchestrated his own death through poison to coincide with a grand funeral for Festus. During the same year, he traveled to Alexandria and caused a brutal massacre of unarmed civilians for several days, allegedly in response to mockery directed at him. However, this justification is widely questioned. Meanwhile, the famous baths of Caracalla in Rome were completed, marking a significant achievement during his reign. Inspired by his hero Alexander the Great, Caracalla launched a campaign against the Parthians and crossed the Tigris in 216 AD. He demolished numerous cities en route and exploited the feud between two pretenders to the throne. The resistance to his erratic rule grew so strong during these battles that he was ultimately assassinated on April 8, 217 AD near Carhi by a conspiracy led by Macrinus, the prefect of the Praetorian Guard. Modern accounts of his death rely heavily on the detailed description provided by Cassius Dio, which is widely accepted as credible in academic circles. Caracalla appointed Praetorian prefect Macrinus, who lacked military experience and was of non-senatorial descent, to a key position. According to Cassius Dio, in the spring of 217 AD, Macrinus found himself in a dire situation. He had heard of prophesies promising him imperial dignity, which had also reached Caracalla. In addition, there was a written notice on its way to the emperor. This posed a mortal threat to Macrinus, who likely saw it as an intrigue. To protect himself, he conspired with disaffected individuals to assassinate Caracalla. The attack on Caracalla was carried out on April 8, 217 AD, by three men, Evocatus Julius Martialis, who held a grudge against the emperor after a demotion, and two Praetorian tribunes. While Caracalla was on his way from Edessa to Carhi, Martialis approached him under the guise of saying something and stabbed him in the back. A Scythian bodyguard of Caracalla killed Martialis with his lance, but the two Praetorian tribunes arrived and finished the murder. This event marked the end of the Severan dynasty in the male line. It took several days of convincing, but the soldiers eventually proclaimed Macrinus as emperor on April 11, 217 AD. Caracalla was buried in Hadrian's mausoleum in Rome. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel.